Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about namespace in C++. Before starting, you can note my information which include my app, books and YouTube channel. So coming on to the topic which is namespace. So namespaces allows us to group entities like classes, objects and functions under a single name. This way the global scope can be divided into subscopes, each one with its own name. So if you want to uh, categorize uh, classes or functions which are implemented in a C++ program into subscopes, then you can implement namespace. So a namespace can be treated as an abstract container to hold a logical grouping of unique identifier or symbols. An identifier defined in a namespace is associated with only that namespace. The same identifier can be independently defined in multiple namespaces. So this last statement means uh, we can define uh, variables with same names or classes with same names in different different namespaces. So in short we can say namespace is a collection of classes, objects, functions, variables in a single scope or local scope. So in a program we can have multiple namespaces and in, inside each namespace we can have uh, uh, n number of variables, classes, etc. So this is the syntax of namespace. First you have to use keyword and then an identifier. This identifier will be known as namespace name. Then body of namespace which can contain classes, objects and functions. So this is an example of namespace. This namespace is a keyword and my namespace is a name or identifier of namespace and it is containing two variables. We can also define classes uh, and functions inside this namespace. This is a program based on namespace. So in this program there are two namespaces, namespace n1, namespace n2. So n1 and n2 both are identifier or you can say na name of namespaces. So it contains a variable var equals to 10 it also contains a variable var equals to 2.5. So in n1 namespace var is of int type. In n2 namespace var is of double data type. So in a same program we can have two variables of same name but in multiple namespaces. We can also define or implement classes in place of these variables. Inside main function we have to access these variables using scope resolution operator. So Name, names are same that's why you have to use a particular namespace name then scope resolution and then variable name similar to n2 n2 namespace name scope resolution and then variable name so if you have multiple uh, or more than one variables in a namespace then every time you have to use name of that namespace to remove that problem we can use using keyword so these namespaces are same as uh, in previous example here in this example using keyword is using this namespace n1 so we can use uh, members of n1 namespace directly without using scope resolution operator but for n2 we have to use scope resolution operator if you want to avoid this scope resolution then before using members of n2 namespace you can uh, write a statement using namespace n2 so uh, this is uh, the concept of namespace. It is very simple. In short, you can say namespace is a collection of variable functions classes so that we can create local scopes inside a single program. Uh, now I am explaining a predefined namespace which is known as STD. So namespaces in C++ are often used, uh, sorry, most often used to avoid naming collision. So naming collision means if we uh, want to use same names uh, for multiple entities so uh, that same name problem can be avoided uh, with the help of namespaces. Uh, second point says although namespaces are used extens extensively in recent C++ code, older code doesn't use uh, this facility. So this feature is uh, not available uh, for previous codes which are implemented in C++. So uh, you can uh, if you are using modern compilers then uh, you can use the feature of namespace if you are using old compilers then uh, this na namespace uh, keyword will not be available for you 
so third point says all the files in the c++ standard library declare all of its entities within the std namespace so that is why we generally include the user namespace std so uh, if you are implementing your programs in modern compilers then uh, before starting the class you have to write a statement that is using namespace std so this is predefined namespace similar to predefined you can also create your user defined namespaces thank you for watching this video